Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn about how we can make use of the Open Web UI community to see all kinds of different functions and tools and models that other people have built that we can then also use in our models. So we'll first start off by looking at some tools. So to view all the, all the tools that are made by the community, I'm going to go here to see all. And here I see that there are a bunch of different tools like web search, there's one for web scrape, there's one for weather where it gets the weather for a specific city. Um, there is one for 11 labs TTS. So this is a tool that's used to generate speech from text. The only thing is that it also requires an API. So you would have to go to 11 labs, get an API, and then enter that API somewhere here. Um, now you don't, not all of the tools require an API. So for example, if I want to use maybe something like the BBC news feed tool, you can see here that I don't really require to have some sort of an API. Now, how do I add a tool? So imagine that I want to add a tool, something like the calculator. So I'm going to go to view. And when I go to view, I would get all of this code. All I need to do is select get. Now I know that my uh, open web UI is running on localhost 3000. So I'm just going to hit import to web, uh, to web UI. And then it's automatically going to take me to this window here, which is in my workspace under my tools tab. I don't need to do anything else besides hit save. I'm going to confirm this warning and the tool has been created. So I have a couple of tools that I've installed already. So one is for web scrape. Let's take this one out. Say for example, uh, I don't need the web scrape anymore. All you would do is select more and then delete. Now, how do I use a tool? Well, first I'm going to have to select a model. So in this case, let me select the Mistral Nemo model. I'm going to have to go to more and then enable this tool. Now say that this is a tool for enhanced web scraping. And the goal here is to, uh, is to get a web scraping tool that can extract text content using Gina Reader. So let's turn this tool off first. And then let's provide a prompt to the model. We will say something like, I have this website here and the website is called Books to Scrape. So basically I have a bunch of different books on this website. I'm going to provide this link here and I'm going to say scrape the books from this site. Let's see what the response I get back is. So the response that I'm getting back from the Mr. Nemo model is that, well, if you wanted to scrape all of the books from this website, you're going to have to install all of these different libraries and then you have to create a Python script and the Python script will do this for you. Now we don't want to do all of this. We don't want to run the Python code. We want the, uh, the large language model to give us all of the scraped results. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this chat. I'm going to open up the, another chat with Mr. Nemo, but this time I'm going to enable the enhanced web scraping tool. Now, if I go back to the website, there are about 11 books on this website. It's only the Himalayas, full moon, Summer in Europe, Under the Tuscan Sun. So these are the books that I want to scrape. So I'm going to say scrape the books from this website. Let me make sure that it's enabled. Yep. So if I hit send message, now it's actually using the tool. So it's used the enhanced web scrape tool to scrape all of the books from this website. So it provided all of these books to me. And we can see here that these are exactly the same books. It's only the Himalayas. It's only the Himalayas. It also provided us the price and also the availability of these books. So basically you can make use of tools. So for example, if you didn't have a calculator tool or if your model wasn't good at doing calculations, then you can get the calculator tool. If you wanted the model to have some sort of an inbuilt mechanism to run Python code, then you can get the Python run tool. So tools are here to provide us with uh, essentially access to all of these different resources. So there are a bunch of different community made tools, 
But if you wanted to, you can also make your own tool. Say that you want to do, you want to repeat a task over and over again. You can just make a tool for uh, that specific task. The goal of this video was just to introduce the idea and the concept of tools. In the future videos, we're going to be learning about how we can even create our own tools. But that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.